I'm in the dressing room of my chemical romance. It's quite exciting to be in here. Also, the first thing I've noticed is it's much warmer in here than it yeah. is out there. How did you manage to wangle that one, Mikey? I don't know. It was, it was, it was actually really cold in here, maybe yeah. like an hour ago. Really? Have you not been in, like, uh, like squats or I lunges think, to heat up? I think it was this. Oh, right. oh, you've yeah. got one of those vanity mirrors that lights up so you can look at yourself. Lay, yeah. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Gerard, you've gone. Uh, you've actually been very sensible and gone for a waterproof jacket there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to make sure I stayed warm and, and waterproof. The last thing we want when you're on stage is a sort of wet T-shirt competition-style event taking place, right? Yeah, I mean, well, we get pretty sweaty anyway. I won't be wearing this on stage. So. Really? Yeah. Are you going to do a sort of strip tease as you go throughout uh, the show? Uh, probably not. But really? OK, because the audience get pretty wild at your gigs. I've seen your audience before. Do, yeah. I imagine if you were to derobe throughout, it would get uh, off the scale, correct? Yeah, I don't think anyone wants to see that, though. So I, I don't know. There'll be a lot of red-button viewers think, tuning in. I think the most I've ever taken off is a jacket. OK, fair enough. Part. You could go further today, maybe just fling I, one shoe off. I don't know about that. Uh, so let's look at the dressing room then. Yeah, it's um, it's not as glamorous as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be honest with you yeah. now. You've accessorised with a rug. Mikey, yeah. is this your decision? No, I mean this was this was uh, all set up here when we got here. We, we, say, we just flew it, in from the US, so we're kind of like we only have half our stuff, and you know we're kind of just piecing things together. Yeah. I'll be honest, it's a disgusting rug. Someone's been in here beforehand, yeah, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, what yeah, is that stain? Been Explain been that for me. I don't know. That's I don't know DNA. You think that's DNA? It very well could be DNA. Oh, dear. Let's hope it's not like that murder hasn't happened in here already and you've had to just lay a rug down to cover up the blood stains. Uh, so aside from the rug, then, what have we got? This is your wardrobe here. This, this seems quite limited. This, this is some of Ray's. So we got a leather jacket, a lot of black jeans, and that's about it. Give me the tour. Imagine we're on Cribs and I oh, come man. into your house. Well, you'll find the spacious living room is, uh, is just here. And over in the corner there, we have the bathroom followed by uh, the mirror. And um, we've got the lamp, this Art Deco. It's um, from the 40s. Now, when you say bathroom, you basically gestured to a corner, a corner of a very little, small yeah, room here. A tray there where the, there's some mashed potatoes. That's, that's the bathroom. Are they making you go in that tray just to take away I pot? Nobody's making us. I think it's just where we're choosing to go. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, now, Mikey, obviously you're on stage a little bit later on, yeah. but I've seen back here lots of acts schmoozing with mm -hmm. each other. Is that the right word? Yeah, I mean, well, we, we've just been back here warming up or whatnot. I haven't gotten to meet anybody yet. Because yeah. they always say, like, at festivals, it's the perfect place for collaborations to be ignited. Right. Is there a chance of you running into Tyre Cruz and going, well, we're not that similar, but maybe let's make something happen? I don't know who that is, but... You don't know who Tyre Cruz is? No, He's no. on stage, but you go and see it. OK. Um, yeah, well, I mean, we're kind of the rock band here today, so we, uh, I guess there's, there's the strokes, too, and the vaccines yeah. today, but... We're kind of the rock band in this area, so we don't know anybody. Is that are you treating that with some sort of rivalry with no, the structure saying, hey, we're the big rock band? No, not at all. There's no rivalry. We're just, you know, here to do our thing and with loud instruments and stuff like that. So you've not ventured out into the corridors yet to try and make any acquaintances with people? Well, I mean, we've urinated a lot and yeah. walked around and got a lot of coffee and smoked a lot of cigarettes, but we haven't, yeah, we haven't seen anybody, you know, that we know or anything. That sounds like quite an uneventful afternoon, considering you're at one of the biggest events. You should get out and enjoy some of the music. Well, you kind of got to get ready, like, to stay focused and do a lot of pacing, a lot of thinking about your life and things like that, and that's kind of what I do before shows. Oh, OK. It would also be difficult, I think, for you to leave this area and go out to sight, because not only are you recognisable for being in the band My Chemical Romance, but also you've got hair that just draws the eye to it. Kind of a beacon. i got a hat, though. I have yeah. a pretty good hat. It would make an amazing photo, though, if you were out there in the crowd in a Where's Wally style, a Where's right, Waldo right. style, to go, Where's... Oh, there he is, it's the one with the red hair. Right, exactly. exactly. Well, luckily, there's like lots of fans, too, that have this colour hair right now, so... They're kind of my decoys. Oh, really? They they come to the audience, and uh, will they be near the front, do you think? Yeah, they help me out. Sometimes they're spread out as decoys, and they're, they kind of run around. Now, obviously, Gaga's going to be here later. Yeah. Mikey, uh, you're a human being. You must be excited about this. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to actually watch her, though, because they said there's only one road in, one road out. Yeah. But I'd love to check her out live. You know, I've only seen her on television. So, hang on, you're going to leave before she gets here? We might have to. We you might, might not like me saying this, Mikey, but I think you're an idiot for that, mo that move. We may not have a choice. We don't think we'll make it back to the airplane. And yeah, we, have, we, the, we have, have a flight tomorrow, yeah. Nuts. But there's a good chance we're going to get to see her, though. But, we're, yeah, we'd love to stay and Because the strokes are right after us, too, so we're going to try to see some of the strokes and then see some of her and then get in the van. Lovely. Well, I will leave you to your warm-up. What happens? Some lunges, some vocals, uh, sort yeah. of notes? lunges, vocals. What note do you tend to sing? Um, I just do this weird scale that I made up. Let's have a little bit. No. You made up a scale. You can't say that. Come on now. No. This I is a good, better scale. live radio. Yeah, Great place to warm up the vocal like cords. Ah man, I don't just sing. Oh, like fair that. enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Got to warm it up. Have some honey and lemon. Well, I'll leave you to do that. In the meantime, let's have a listen to you right now with Planetary Go on Radio One. BBC Radio One's Big Weekend.